Hi guys and welcome back to my art channel. Today we're going to be doing another painting tutorial and we're going to paint this sunset in acrylics together step by step in real time and I'm going to show you techniques such as mixing colours and how to add layers to achieve an effect like this. So I really hope that you guys enjoy it. If you do like these type of videos, make sure you hit that like button so that I know the sort of content that you guys like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. I also want to reach out to anybody that might be feeling stuck in the artwork that they're making or maybe you're making paintings that you're just not happy with or it's not how you thought it would turn out. And I want to reach out to you guys because I have been there, I know what it's like, it is so frustrating and especially when you can't figure out why and what that reason is. So I am creating an online painting course to help with all of those things, to help you gain confidence, improve your art and create paintings that you're actually happy with and in love with. So if this all sounds like something that would appeal to you, then in the description box I'll pop a link and you can go and check out the course details and even sign up for the waitlist to be the first to hear when it's going to be launching. So that's really exciting and I can't wait to share with you guys all the good stuff that is in this noggin here. <laughs> um, but anyway, for today, let's crack on with this painting tutorial and let's create this sunset in acrylics. So the colours that I'm going to be using today is Titanium White, Permanent Rose, Cadmium Orange, Cadmium Yellow, Cerulean Blue and Ultramarine Blue. And for brushes, I'm personally going to be using two flat edge brushes and as you can see they're quite big because I've got quite a large canvas here. Uh, this is a size 12 and this is a size 8, both from the Princeton Aspen range, which are really nice brushes, especially to use with acrylic. I've also got a jar of water here and an old tea towel which I'm going to dry my brush on, so I'm going to pop that there. Okay, so first I've just dampened my brush in a little bit of water so it's damp. And first of all, we're gonna put down a background layer. So we're gonna try and do a really nice blend and it is gonna be difficult because I've got such a big surface area here. So I'm gonna take some of the cerulean blue and I'm gonna add lots of the white. So we get a really nice creamy pale blue. In fact, that is about the perfect colour actually. And I'm going to pop that in along the middle section. So from about, where should we pop the horizon? I want it to be mostly sky. So let's pop the horizon to about here. So all of this area, I want to be that lovely pale blue. And don't be afraid to use uh, bits of water, especially on the first layers because that's what's going to make it really viscous to travel along the canvas more easily. So if you're struggling to get it across the canvas, just add a little bit more water.
loving. Now for the corners, I want to add some of the permanent rows. And it's going to create this beautiful pink colour. And I'm going to take that down from the corners and from the top. Now I want this to be a really soft blend so I'm going to use diagonal brush strokes and that will help the blend become really nice. Because then once we've done that we can go back to side to side. It's up to you how soft you want that blend. Um, I quite like seeing brush strokes, but if you want to focus on a really, really perfect blend, that's fine. Just pause the video and take as much time as you need for that. And if you struggle with this drying already and not blending, then just get a little water spritzer. Just give it a really fine misting and that will definitely help. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep taking my brush side to side till I feel like that blend is done. We are going to be going over the top of this anyway. And then I'm going to wash out my brush. Now for the bottom of the sky, we're going to make a really light orange. And I'm going to blend this along the bottom. And then taking some of the orange, just in that same mixture, I'm just going to apply that just a little bit darker right at the bottom of that horizon. Okay, and then I'm going to rinse off my brush. Lovely. And now we're going to mirror exactly what we see in the sky. So we're going to go into a blue and then into a pink as well. So seeing as I've already got a bit of pink still on here, I'm going to start with the pink. So a bit of the permanent rose and a bit of the blue. I'm going to pop that in along the bottom. And 
And then I'm going to recreate that blue that we had in the beginning, that soft pastel blue with white and cerulean blue. So in case you hadn't guessed it yet, this is going to be the horizon, this is going to be the sea, what we're going to be reflecting. So we will be adding some more detail and things like that, but for the base layer, we want to basically reflect what we can see in the sky. Okay, so wash out your brush. Okay, and now we're gonna wait for that to completely dry. And whilst we're waiting for that to dry, I just wanna give you guys a quick reminder, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe to this channel. It really helps the YouTube algorithm with every like, every comment. So I really, really appreciate your support in that way. If you wanted to support me further, I do also have a Patreon page where I share behind the scenes and different tips and tricks. And that is another way to support me if you wanted to. We've got a lovely community growing there. So go and check out my Patreon page. I will link it in the description box. And yeah, thank you so much. Okay, so for the next part, I am actually gonna use a ruler because it's such a big canvas and I don't trust my own judgment at all. Um, but feel free to put your own horizon line in freehand if that's what you'd rather do. Um, I'm not actually gonna use a ruler like that. What I'm gonna do is decide where um, I'm gonna have it as in where it comes up to on the ruler. So just using a bit of ultramarine mixed with some orange. I'm just gonna mark here. I'm gonna have it to about here, nine? Or should we go 10? I feel like 10 is always a good round number to have. So I'm just gonna mark like this, going along. And this way, it means that we will still have a straight horizon, but it doesn't mean that it will be unnaturally straight that it looks odd. Oh no. <laughs> Also try not to do that, that I've just done. Okay, so using those lines, sort of like a basic line, I'm gonna now draw a line across for the horizon. So I'm gonna get some more ultramarine blue and a bit of orange and a little bit of white. And I'm gonna draw in that horizon line. Okay, does that look straight to you guys? I feel like that looks pretty straight to me. So using that same mixture, I'm just gonna pop in a second line 
which is going to be like uh, a wave coming coming forwards Now what I'm going to do is create uh, the same light blue mixture that we did before. So taking that cerulean blue with some white. And I'm going to take that uh, just above the horizon line and blend that out. And because this is a C, it doesn't all have to be like blended perfectly. Um, it's nice to have some texture in those waves. Oh, I'm terrible. What's wrong with me? I shouldn't re be really teaching a tutorial, guys. But then, this is the thing that these things happen. And if they do, just take a brush, add some water on it, and just go back in, there's no problem. You know what it is, it's because I'm like working at an angle, I think, so that you guys can pick it up on camera. <laughs> so yes, taking that cerulean blue and white and adding some highlights back into the sea again. And I'm also going to pop some bits of colour down here as well. Next I'm going to take even more white and add that to the mixture. So we've got a really nice pale blue here. And then I'm going to use that in the C just as some highlights. Just to brighten it up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to leave that for there. I'm going to leave that there, sorry, and then we're going to work back into that in a bit. But now I want to focus on the clouds and the sky a bit more. So now we're actually going to add some really nice clouds coming up. So we're going to start on the horizon here. So taking some of your permanent rose and adding some white with a little bit of orange. The first thing I'm going to do is reiterate on the very bottom of that horizon line. And take it slow, take it steady. There's no rush. And I'm just going to take a bit of orange now 
and add some white. And using that mixture, I'm going to go just above that line. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, so next I'm going to take some white and we're going to take that bluey mixture again and with the bit of orange still on our brush and adding a lot of white I'm now going to take that colour just above what we've just done here. I'm just going to rinse off my brush now. So that you've got a clean but damp brush. And I'm just going to use that to blend those colours together. And if you feel like it's starting to pick up paint again, just give it a wash again. Just make sure that it's not too wet, that it's just damp. Okay, so I feel like I've blended that line out. So I'm just gonna, still using a damp brush, just blend that out even further. I think I'm happy with that so I'm gonna leave the sky to dry for a minute but what I am gonna do is whilst I've got these colors still wet on my palette I'm gonna pop some of those into the uh, into the sea so taking that pink you might have to add a little bit more water if it's gone a little dry just gonna take some of those and just reflect them off those beautiful waves Okay, at this point I'm going to pop in the horizon line again. So taking some ultramarine blue and a bit of orange. I might just add a tiny bit of the permanent rose as well, just to warm it up slightly. Maybe just a bit of white. Just bouncing between those colours to find one that I'm happy with. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this colour. Um, I'm going to use this to, again, pop in the horizon and then add in that wave. 
So I'm going to add some water to this. And I'm going to now really concentrate. And then I'm just going to bring that down about here. Again, I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to add in that um, dark wave again here. I'm just going to make some little um, waves as well, more in the background. And also I'm just going to bring that in from the side a little bit. Okay, I'm going to pop in that purple colour down here as well. So rinse off your brush. So I'm going to take some of the permanent rose and the cerulean blue. Get that lovely rich purple. And I'm going to pop that in just along the corners down here. And along the bottom. Okay, so we're going to leave that um, for now so that it can dry and next I'm going to start working on the clouds. So taking some of the permanent rose with some white 
and a little bit of orange. Actually, I think I'm going to add just a tiny bit of ultramarine. And I'm going to start popping in the clouds, so that's pretty exciting. So I'm going to start over here. I'm going to use light brush strokes. I'm going mostly horizontal, working my way up. As I go up, I'm going to add a bit more permanent rose, a bit more orange, and a bit more cerulean blue. No, sorry, that was wrong. We're going to add permanent rose with some ultramarine. Sorry, the cerulean blue makes it go a little bit more muddy for some reason, whereas the ultramarine makes it a bit more purpley. And plenty of white as well. And now I'm gonna start sort of like melding them together. So I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna build that up to go across here. I'm going to sort of blend that out in a minute, so don't worry too much about the intensity. I'm going to sort of come up here. And build up these clouds here.
And here I'm kind of going backwards and forwards with a bit of a dry brush. You can see it's picking up the canvas texture, which is a really nice effect because it kind of uh, softens a lot of those lines. Okay, I think uh, that's it for now. Although, um, adding a bit of white and using that earlier pink colour, I've just realised I could do with taking this down here a little bit. And then just across here. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, wash off my brush. Okay, next what I'm gonna do is make that original color that we made, cerulean blue and white. So we kind of want it the same color as this background here, because now what we're gonna go and do is kind of uh, delete bits that we've done almost um, because what's that's, what that's going to do is really help that blend in and add another layer and especially whilst that's still wet and some bits like here I just really like the way that blends out And just using that mixed with a bit of the permanent rose. I'm going to take that up into here as well. And again, like before, using a bit of a dry brush method. Okay, so if you feel like you've taken away any bits that you really liked, you can just pop them back in with the pink. And whilst I've got those colours on my palette, I'm going to go ahead and pop in some more highlights into the sea now. Because obviously the sea is going to reflect what we're seeing in the sky.
and I'm just going to make up a quick mixture of um, that pastel orange so that we can reflect that as well into the sea. I'm going to take a bit more cerulean blue with some white. And also add those highlights into the sea as well. Okay, so I'm going to add a little bit more to the sky, so taking some of that cerulean blue and white. I'm just going to continue working on this. And because we've gone quite over quite a lot of that, I'm going to go back in with the pink and just kind of like reiterate and cement that in. So taking some of the white, some of the permanent rose and a bit of orange. And take those clouds right down there.
Okay, I'm going to take, again, that pink just along the water a bit. Right, I feel like we're nearly there. There is one last thing that I want to do, and I don't know if it will ruin it, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. And that is to take a little bit of yellow with some white. And to add in just a little bit of like bright light that's gonna draw your eye in. So I'm not gonna add much. Also don't let it mix with the blue because then it will create green and nobody wants a green seascape. I'm happy. I'm happy that I did that. So the last thing, and then I think it's done, is taking that same yellow once again and adding some highlights, but this time I'm just gonna keep them over where the reflection would be. And I think the painting is finally finished. So thank you so much for watching that. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like the video because it really helps me understand what kind of content you guys like. And it'd be great if you could subscribe and join our YouTube family and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos. If you'd like to support the channel even further, check out the description box with links to my online painting course and also my Patreon page. Make sure you tag me if you post your creations online. I'd love to see them and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!